Good morning, afternoon, or evening, Arnold Air Society and Silver Wings Nation. I'm Cadet French. I'm Cadet Mayor. And I'm Miss Rayburg. And we are Captain Mark Giles Danielson Squadron from Detachment 90 at Colorado State University. And we will be briefing you on our joint national project proposal, Suicide Awareness and Prevention. In an overview, we're gonna be going over active duty suicide rates, what our JNP proposal is, why we're putting it forward, how your squadron or chapter can get involved, our squadron's contributions, and QPR training. With the assistance from our local crisis center, we pulled the most current research from the Department of Defense on active duty military suicide rates. The lower line is the current rates for the US population on average. The top blue line shows the comparison to active duty numbers. As you can see, the rates for active duty military are far higher. The reason that we do not have information past 2010 is due to the DOD's release dates for this information. But what we can tell you is that this number is only increasing. These are our brothers and sisters in arms. These are our boots on the ground, and we believe that it is our duty as future Air Force leaders to reduce these numbers. This is a more in-depth statistic for causes of death during 2010 for military personnel. As you can see, the numbers for self-inflicted deaths fall around 7,000 members. And you can assume that some, if not most, of the undetermined deaths are also caused by self-harm. It's disturbing to know that these numbers are higher than deaths by hostiles or terrorist attacks. These self-inflicted deaths are preventable, and it is our job as future leaders to take care of our people. So here are some more statistics. But um, the bottom line is that Americans are dying and we need to and we have to do something about it. Not only are we losing our people, but the military puts a lot of time, money and resources into each officer and enlisted member. We want to maintain both of these as best as possible. This issue doesn't just impact the military, though. It is an increasing national crisis that we are facing. It's important for us to do our part as a community service organization to prevent these widespread issues and raise awareness about the severity of the problem. This is a deeply personal topic that some may have direct experience with, and as people who are going into our line of work, it's not an if, it's a when. By raising awareness for this issue, we hope to provide everyone with the education and tools needed to deal with this issue when they are faced with it. There are lots of ways to easily get involved. The maps on the left are some of the crisis centers that your squadron or chapter can reach out to, but a simple Google search will show you where your local crisis centers are located. Many crisis centers offer QPR training, which we will be discussing in depth shortly. And if you do not have access to a local crisis center, online resources and training is available. In addition, most universities have opportunities to promote mental health or suicide awareness, and there are many online resources as well, such as the Yellow Ribbon Organization and the Suicide Prevention Lifeline. In 2012, a Colorado State University and Captain Mark Giles Danielson Squadron alumni took his own life shortly into active duty. His death was a tragedy and could have easily been prevented given the right support. It was the catalyst that led to our squadron realizing how important this issue is and what it means to us. Since then, every single year, our squadron has held a 5K in his honor to raise not only awareness of this issue, but also funds to support our local suicide prevention center. As a result, we have developed a strong relationship with the local suicide prevention organization, which has only increased our passion for the issue. That's why we're here today. We realized how simple it was for us to get involved, and we wanted to see other squadrons across the nation do the same. This year, we went to that organization and ask them how we as cadets and future Air Force leaders could do more to help solve the problem of suicide in America. They were excited to see us take the initiative and were extremely supportive. We are working towards, we are working with them towards providing all 120 plus cadets and cadre at our detachment with QPR training, which brings us to our next point. QPR is a nationally recognized suicide prevention training program that is free for all who are interested. Our squadron teamed up with our Silver Wings chapter to get both groups certified, and it is our squadron's goal to have as many Silver Wings chapters and Arnold Air Society squadrons as possible re receive this certification. Through our partnership with the Alliance, I was also able to get trainer certified to administer the training to not only our organizations, but also our Air Force ROTC detachment and Army ROTC. Our squadron strongly believes that if every member of Arnold Air Society and Silver Wings went through this program, we have the chance to save at least one life and every life save counts. In summary, we went over active duty suicide rates, what our JMP bid is, why you should vote for it, 
how your squadron can get involved, our squadron's contributions, and QPR training. If you have any questions, please direct them to our email at aasmgdsquad at gmail.com. Now, I know our briefing was pretty short and to the point, but this is an extremely important topic, not just to us, but to a lot of other people in this country as well. We hope it is to you, and we hope you'll understand how important it is for us all to get involved. If the entire Arnold Air Society and Silver Wings Nation were to get involved with this, we could really make a difference and save some lives.